this pamphlet. I'd like to bring light to this pamphlet that was given to my six-year-old son in first grade on Monday, okay? Because this is a serious problem right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, uh, this is no joke. Where am I at here? I wrote this whole thing out so I could be straight with my thoughts. The fact that you want to cancel Columbus Day in exchange for Indigenous Peoples Day, however, you also want to keep Thanksgiving. Because I had a hard time on Monday night explaining to my son why it is we celebrate Thanksgiving if Christopher Columbus was such an SOB to everybody, why in the world one month later would they sit down at a beautiful feast and give thanks for what they had? Because it just doesn't make any sense to me, right? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, where am I at here? So, this is really about going against Big Brother, which is what I think it is, pushing back against a big brother. Because it's not about our kids anymore, right? I mean, our kids' well-being be damned. In this Tennessee Studies Weekly, Ms. Carissa Neely, the author of these studies right here, has selected multiple pointed facts to focus on. Thank you. To learn, to make learning fun and easy. Ma'am, your time has expired. Can I ask my six-year-old son if he knew what Columbus Day was? Do you want to know what he told me? Our next guest. He said, yeah, it's when Christopher Columbus sailed to a new world and killed all the people so he could take their land and their gold. The one fact that my six-year-old son learned from your day Ma'am, your time is over. In school was Christopher Columbus sailed over here to kill people. How dare you expose a six-year-old boy to this ugly hate? Our I next. This is a border man of Arizona where I grew up. I was raised. Your time has expired, ma'am. Thank you for your time. Indian people, the Zuni Indian people, and they are Native American. They are not American Indians. That is very offensive to them, as a matter of fact. And I guarantee you that instead of worrying about Indigenous Peoples Day, ma'am, they are more concerned with the fact that they cannot buy bread and milk to put on their shelf. Ma'am, you're and being you you're being disruptive. That, the Please remove. The grocery store is completely empty. Completely empty, ma'am. Our next guest. I think that is what they're concerned about, ma'am. I don't think it has anything to do with the vaccination and covering our mouths. Our next guest is Barbara Dillman.